Hey guys, so I've been getting a lot of questions on where all my clothes have been from recently and I've really been buying a lot of clothes over the past two months. Um, I've been getting rid of a lot of things like donating and selling them. So that's why I feel like you've seen a lot of new clothes. Um, so I've been getting a lot of DMs, questions about it. So I figured that I would just make a collective video of everything that I've been getting. Um, I'll link everything that I can find in the description just because I don't know if I'll be able to find everything because I know some things might be sold out. But I'll link whatever I can find and for now, let's get started. So the first store I've been getting a lot of things from is Brandy Melville. Um, you'll see kind of a pattern with Brandy. Whenever I find something that I like from there, I buy it in like every single color they have. So the first thing that I've been actually obsessed with, I have been living in these sweatpants, are these joggers here. So I got them in blue and then I also got them in gray. But the only thing with these is I've tried on different colors in the store. They have, I think they have like 10 colors in them. And the ones that I've tried on in the store, some of them fit differently. Like some are small, some are bigger. And even though they're the same style, I guess like they fit me differently. I don't know. It might just be me. But I was going to order some online, but I figured I need to try them. So definitely try those on in store if you're going to get those. And then the next thing I got was this waffle top. It's that material. It's just white. It's kind of oversized and it's just good for lounging and I wear all the time at home, all the time when I go out. It's just really comfortable and easy to throw on. Then these, you can tell that I like them. I got them in three different colors. So it just looks like this. It's a tank top but with a cute little detail. I think it adds a little something and it's cropped. So you can wear it with joggers. I always throw this on with a pair of joggers and it just dresses it up a little bit. So I got it in white and then I also got it in purple. And then I also got it in gray. And then I also, I really like these two because I got it in two colors if I can find the other one. Um, so I got this one. It's just a crop, regular neck. It has a little bit of a V right here. And it's cropped. It comes about the same size, like length as this shirt. Um, but I really like this color. And then I also got it in this white. White goes with everything. I wear it with the blue joggers that I got. So that goes really well together. And then the last thing I got, yeah, this is the last thing I got from Brandy, is this crop sweatshirt. Um, it has like the collared neck up here with the buttons and then it's cropped down here. Me and my sister both got one. They're super comfortable and they're cute too. So the next store I bought stuff from is LF. I have a ton of things from LF. <laughs> um, so the first thing I got were two oversized tees, the brand first of a kind. I've been really into wearing oversized tees with joggers or even biker shorts. I have a pair of biker shorts that I'm going to show you from Maritzia that I absolutely love. But yeah, I got this one here. It's just a band tee. It's not as oversized as I, as I thought it would be. So honestly, if you're going to order one of these, they have them online. That's why I got them online. But I would go in store to try them on if you want them more oversized. And then I also got this one. It's just a UCLA one. Yeah, this, it's UCLA. This one's a little bit bigger, but I like how it's distressed. It's really cute. I always sew these on with biker shorts. And the next thing I got was this top. So this has a little detailing down the front. The only thing that's annoying about this top is it comes untied. Like, you can't get it on without untying it, but once you put it on after it's untied, it just comes apart. So it's kind of hard to get on. I haven't worn it yet. Um, but it also comes with matching shorts with the same ring detailing down the side. I didn't get those because I figured this would just be cute to throw on with maybe a white pair of jeans or something like that. And then, of course, I got another pair of cargo pants. I live in these pants. Um, I think they add, like, a cute little detail other than jeans because I feel like everybody has jeans. I mean, everybody kind of has the cargo pants now. But... I don't know. I think they're cute and I like how they're cinched at the bottom. I think it looks cuter with a pair of um, sneakers or something. I don't know. I just like the way it looks better. And then I also got this tank top. I have so many tank tops. I always throw them on with a pair of joggers. I think it's so simple and easy, but it's also cute. And they're also really cheap. I think this one, so I'm sure all of you know the Elif is having a sale. Um, I think this was $16 and I love the material. It's super stretchy and it's good quality. So I don't know. Tank tops are really what I've been into re recently. And then the last thing I got, actually no, I have one more thing. Two more things actually. Um, okay, I don't know if I like this or not. I can't really tell. So a lot of people have had those like utility style things. I don't know what it's called. Rompers and um, 
jumpsuits and I wanted to find something like that and this was the first thing I saw that was kind of like that so I was like okay maybe I should get it but I think I could have found cuter so I'm not really sure what I think of this but it's just like this you'll see it in the try on I can't really show you it has the zipper down the front I don't like how the arms are tight I don't really like that it kind of slides up and makes them like puff up I don't really know how to describe it and it's like this and then it has a hood in the back but you definitely need a belt or something. So I tried it on with a belt and I think I kind of, I think I like it better than without a belt. But I don't know. I'm not really, I don't really know about that. I have to see if I can look good in that. Um, and then I also got these shorts. So these are the first of a kind shorts, how they're one size. And they also have this checker print um, down the side. And I really like these. These are the only pants that actually fit me. Usually um, shorts are too tight in the butt and then too big on the waist for me but these fit really well but the only thing with these is you have to try them on because they're all different sizes so I don't even know what size these are but they fit well so that's all that matters but I can't find any other ones like this which sucks but these are the only jean shorts I have <laughs> and then the last thing I got was this belt um, it's like this. It's just one of the tape belts with camo and I think this can dress up anything um, and make it really cute um, I have not worn this yet. I have another one that I'm going to show you that I think um, I can wear with more things. And then the next store I got stuff from is Aritzia. Um, I only got two things from here, but I love them. They're like a staple in my closet. I wear them all the time, and I think I definitely want to get more colors. But it's just this waffle tank top. It's cropped, um, and it's really cute. It's comfortable. I wear it with joggers. Like I said, all my tank tops I wear with joggers. Um, so I just got it in that color with the white detailing, and then I just got a plain white one, and it's the TNA one. And they're both size small. I'll put all my sizes in the description too, just so you guys have an idea. Oh wait, wait, I have one more thing from Aritzia. These biker shorts. So like I said, I've been wearing the biker shorts with oversized um, t-shirts. And these are a size small. They're the TNA Atmosphere 5 inch. And these are the most comfortable jogger shorts. They go up really high, which I like. Um, I also have the 7 inch ones and the 7 inch Personally, I'm just shorter, so they come down a little bit too long on my legs, so I kind of have to scrunch them. But these are the 5-inch ones, and they fit perfectly. So I really like these, and they're cute, and you can kind of wear it with anything you want. And the next store I got stuff from is Princess Polly. I've been loving Princess Polly recently. I've been getting a ton of things from there. Um, I think it's all super cute, and it fits really well, and it's also at a good price point. So the first thing I got was if any of you saw my instagram you saw me post a picture in this it's this shirt it ties in the front i think like the tie tops just give a cute little detail um to any simple shirt i have a ton of them in my closet i wear them with everything i just really like how it ties in the front so it's this with this pattern right there i also got this top so it's just like this i also posted a picture in this but you couldn't really see the front and it's like this and it ties in the front and it's short sleeve but the only thing with this is you can it always comes open like it doesn't stay closed so it's, it's like if you lean over like it's just it doesn't work um it's cute for like a picture or something but i would never wear this out like i don't know i wore it to dinner and i felt like my boobs were out the entire time and then i also got this shirt so this shirt um i wore on the fourth of july it's super cute i like the detailing of the sleeves right here it's really cropped um it's i don't know the material I can't describe it but it's really cute you can see what it's like um but i wore this on the fourth it's super cute for like any family event because i feel like it's still cute but has good coverage and it's um i don't know you can wear it with anything kind of and then this is the belt i was talking about so this is like the other one too it's one of the super long ones where you could tie and then this kind of hangs down a little bit um i thought this would be really cute with like a slip dress i know those kind of make me look boxy personally it just kind of falls on me weird so i thought this would be cute to be cinched at the waist a little bit to give it a little more like figure i guess i don't know and you can wear it kind of with anything i just really thought it would be cute with some kind of dress Okay, wait, there's two things I forgot that are from Brandy. So, from Brandy, I also got this shirt. Um, 
it's just a simple tank top like i said again but this one is a little bit longer so if cropped really isn't your thing this is good but when i wear my joggers all my joggers are high waisted so this kind of comes at a weird length so like you could probably see on that i tied it so when i tied it i made it a little more cropped which i liked but i can't wear this with anything high waisted otherwise it all bunches up and it just doesn't look good but i do like the pattern of it then the last thing i got from brandy was this um one shoulder crop top and i do kind of i wore this once um i'm not obsessed with it i do like it i think it's flattering but i think it would be more flattering at someone else <laughs> I also got bathing suits. So this store is called Black Bow, and this is where I get every single one of my bathing suits. Any bathing suit you see on my Instagram will be from them. Um, it's just such good quality and it's a good price. I mean, it's not cheap, but you get what you pay for. It is a really good quality and they're just super cute designs. So this is one of their new ones. I think it's the Sahara print. So it's like this. It's just a plain triangle. There's no padding in it, but it's just like this in the back. And then I got the bottoms to match it. So these are the bottoms. Um, it has a gold, like the gold ring detailing on the top and the bottom. So I think they go cute together. And they're cheeky. I like all mine like that, but um, Black Bow also has ones that have more coverage or they have less coverage. Um, I just like these on me. And then the next one I got is this top. I also have this one in the Cherry Gingham. Um, so it looks like this. It has underwire, but it doesn't have any padding, which I like. And I got this in a medium, but my um, cherry gingham one is in a small. And it felt like it was pulling in the small. but um, So I went up to a medium, but I think it would go back to a small because I think this just looks a little bit too big on me. So to match, I didn't want to get black because I feel like black, like a plain black bathing suit is so boring. So I decided to get these bottoms with it. So it's the same print as the first one. That's why I was like, I can kind of mix and match and like switch them all up. So it's just like this. But it's basically the same thing without the rings. And then this is the back. Then the last one I got from Black Bow is this top. So it looks like this. I got this top in a small and it definitely fits me better. And the first one I got in a medium, which I probably could have gone to a small too, but they fit either way. So it looks like this, just clips in the back. And then for the matching bottoms, like I said, I didn't want um, just a plain bathing suit. I kind of, want to, kind of wanted to switch it up a little bit. So I got these bottoms to go with it. I have these in, let me see. I wear this all the time. I also have them in this print. Um, like this. I think everybody's seen me in them because it's the only bathing suit I posted. But I really like those bottoms, so I decided to get them in this color. And I think that is it. I was going to show you the white tie top that I had, but I don't know where it is. Okay, I got it. It was downstairs. So this is the last top that I got from Princess Polly Sawyer. Some of this is kind of out of order, but it was all, oh my God, I'm so out of breath. Anyways, it was all out of order because um, it was honestly kind of just thrown on my bed and everything kind of got mixed up. But this is the last top. Again, it's another tie top like I said before. Um, it's just plain white, short sleeve, ties in the front. Um, I also saw it on the model um, on Princess Polly where they wrapped it around the front and tied it in the back. And I thought that was super cute. I tried it on me. It's a little tight, but I really I like it better that way. All right, I have one last thing to show you guys that I forgot to show you before. So I also got this necklace. Um, it's from Adina's Jewels. Jewels? Yeah. And um, I just got it recently. I know a lot of people really like their stuff, and it's really good material and quality. So I decided to get this. So far, I've only had it for like two weeks. So, so far, it's been really good. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on how it holds up. But for right now, I really like it, and I think it's a perfect length. And I just got another... Um, necklace to layer with it that I am waiting for it to come in but yeah I really like this all right guys I hope that was helpful I figured since I've been getting a lot of questions that would probably be the easiest way to put it out there and let you figure it out for yourself if you want to get any of those things so I definitely want to do some more videos in the future so let me know if you have any ideas or any videos that you think would be cool or helpful um, but for now let me know if you liked this video and give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you next time